from Hollywood, it's the B-B-B- Tom Likas Show. Oh, God. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5-800-TOM. 1-800-5-800-866. Thank you for tuning in. This story coming to you from the Boston Globe newspaper. This this would be in Boston, too. A fitness club ad running in Boston magazine that depicts nuns sketching a naked man has triggered protests among some members of the Bay State's Catholic community. The Bay State, that's what they call Massachusetts. It's the Bay State. The ad for the Equinox Fitness Club is running in this month's issue. And two Catholic organizations blasted the photo, according to the Boston Herald newspaper, saying the Catholic League, the Archdiocese of Boston, and the Catholic Action League of Massachusetts all decried the ad as offensive. C.J. Doyle of the Catholic Action League of Massachusetts told the Herald the ad, quote, portrays a callous contempt for the sensibility of Catholics. The fitness company, I guess overjoyed at all the reaction, <laughs> responded with a written statement saying, Our ad campaigns are based on personal motivation and fantasy. And throughout history, the body has been considered a form of art. Now, first of all, Boston is the prime place to to put an ad like that in a magazine or a newspaper or especially on a billboard. People love to get upset. I lived in Boston for a year. And they are doing the exact right thing to get people's attention. Because there's a small group of cranky old finger waggers who live in Boston. Who are going to complain about this and get attention from the newspapers. And in the meantime, Equinox Fitness Club is going to get a an avalanche of free publicity that will reverberate far beyond the original ads. God, I love it. Now, let me just say this. In my view, religion is not like race. It is not like gender. It is not something you are born with and stuck with. Religion is a chosen lifestyle and is therefore fully open to satire, ridicule, and contempt. Now, if you are the Equinox Fitness Club... You have the right, God bless America, a free nation with a free press, a First Amendment, 
and freedom of religion, by the way. No one is saying you can't be a Catholic. They have the freedom to decide who their audience is, who they're trying to sell their gym services to, and they have a right to try to appeal to them any legal way they like. If the Equinox Fitness Club thinks that their clientele are young and therefore they like irreverent or offensive humor in their ads, and if they think that uh, getting a little heat from the local Catholic Church and the attendant publicity that goes with that will help them sell their services... And more power to them. When you place an ad, the only limitation you should have in placing the ad beyond legal liability for lying in an ad and promising to deliver a service that, that you can't deliver or won't deliver for a particular price, the only limitation should be whether or not it's going to hurt your business. And I find it hard to believe that the old cranks in Boston who complain about things like this are the kind of people who go to the gym anyway. That is not the primary customer. This is something I talk to you about all the time with our own program, how we talk about the, the way this show offends so many people. But the people who are not offended are the audience. The people in our target audience are not offended. Art, you're getting a free broadcasting education here. Now, listen up. This is important. We don't worry about it when people who are not in our target audience are offended. In fact, those are some of our best promoters. The people who hate this show are the ones who go out and promote it for us. They do the dirty work for us. They tell people what what show it is, what time it's on, what station it's on. And those people tell other people. And eventually, all of the people who would be interested in a show like this hear how terrible it is from somebody who's offended, and then they tune in. No billboards necessary. You notice we have no billboards, no TV commercials, no marketing money of any kind. Our show is marketed by viral marketing by word of mouth. And the word of mouth comes from the people who are offended by the show. The one group I bend over backwards to never offend are the people in the target demographic. The audience that we're trying to reach. In our case, it's men between 18 and 44 years old. In the case of Equinox Fitness Club, they don't want to offend young men, young women. who are probably not the kind of people who complain about an ad like that. Equinox Fitness Club and others are under no obligation to worry about offending the sensibilities of not just Catholics, but of the kind of devout Catholics that belong to organizations that protest and picket and complain about offensive advertising. As long as the Equinox Fitness Club is convinced that that group is not part of their target demographic, they should keep placing offensive ads in magazines, newspapers. Uh, try it on a billboard. You know, here's what happens. You get the billboard up, people protest, the billboard company caves, they make you take it down. There's TV coverage of the billboard going up, TV coverage of the billboard coming down, protests, debates on radio talk shows. It's fantastic. I think they're on the right track. I don't think they should have to worry about whether some Catholics are offended. And by the way, it's not just Catholics, any religion. I, I don't think you should have to worry about whether you are offending people of a particular religion, as long as the devout members of that religion are not a significant portion of your target demographic. I certainly never worry about it on this program. I do ask the atheist. I am an atheist. I frequently attack, for example, Mormons. I said I would never vote for Mitt Romney because he's a Mormon, and I have every right to say that. I am under no obligation 
to observe the wounded pride or egos of people who live a particular religious lifestyle. Religion is not something you're born with. It's changeable. You can say, poof, I'm a Jew, and then go be one. Or you could say, you know, poof, I'm an atheist, or poof, I'm an agnostic, or poof, 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 you can be something else. Lutherans become Presbyterians, become Unitarians. I mean, it, it, it can happen in the blink of an eye. How many guys are getting really good sex from a chick who's of a different religious background, and then they decide to convert to that chick's religion? Poof! I'm a Mormon. Poof! I'm a Jew. Poof! Which indicates that this has nothing to do with what your religious beliefs are. You know, you essentially uh, do this because your parents did it, or your grandparents did it, or your girlfriend who gives you really good sex is a particular religion. That's how people choose their religious beliefs. Your parents brainwash you, they shove it down your throat. Then later, if you meet somebody and the sex is really good, then you change religions. That's how it works, with a snap of a finger. When you're promoting a product, you should never have to take into account whether people like Catholics are particularly sensitive about this stuff. They've got all these organizations. Why should you worry about that? What do I care? So I say right on to the Equinox Fitness Club. They shouldn't apologize for the ad which shows a bunch of nuns sketching a naked man. They shouldn't apologize they shouldn't back down. They shouldn't withdraw the ad. They shouldn't promise not to run it in the future. This ad accomplished exactly what Equinox Fitness Club wants. It got promotion for Equinox Fitness Club. By the way, you never knew this. I'm a member of Equinox. I go to their gym. And I would never have even discussed Equinox on the air unless this story came out. Which proves my point. Are they going to worry about whether a bunch of 72-year-old devout Catholic cranks are upset about this? Or are they more concerned about whether the uh, 22-year-old uh, females who need to go in and do a little ab crunching uh, are going to hear about the place and go in there? And, and you know the answer to that. Should businesses like Equinox Fitness Club be worried about whether groups like these Catholic organizations are offended or upset by their advertising? Tom, 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 Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. We're listening to you last night. We're on our way to go get a bite to eat. And, uh, you know, I kind of said a remark of, like, why do all women want to have control if Max the crap out of my head. Like, why do you listen to that Tom Likas? He's turning you into a jerk. It's the Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. At 1-800-5800-TOM. Mike, you're returning in. Thanks for being part of our program. We appreciate it. I should, uh, should we worry about whether Catholics are offended when you, when you place an ad, Catholic groups are going to complain, should you worry about that? I say no. I don't care if they're offended. Doesn't matter to me. Daryl on the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hey, Tom, it's great to hear from you. I mean, great to hear from, talk to you. Uh, I wanted to call about the topic at hand. I think that, uh, for one, I think the guys are, uh, that they should complain or that they should go ahead and change what they said and apologize. And then I think they should change their mind like a woman does and just do the ad again. <laughs> um, I also have a bone to pick with you. Really? I'm, I'm 44. I'm about to turn 45. I think it's time for you to start turning that demographic up. You're doing a great service for mankind, buddy. I'm doing the best I can, Daryl. Hey, we're out here loving it. We're loving you. Take care, okay? Thank you. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Andy, on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How are you? I'm okay. Um, yeah, this subject matter hits close to home. I own an Apple store in La Quinta, California, and just a couple of weeks ago we made a new commercial called For PC Addicts Anonymous. We had a nun, this gorgeous blonde dressed up in a nun's habit, and in the commercial she... 
you know, stands up and her nun's habit comes off and she turns out into this hot, sexy blonde and she says she, since she got rid of her PC and got a Mac, everything's great. And I have this Catholic couple come into the store uh, and I showed them the commercial before we aired it. And they got all in a huff and they said they'd never buy a computer from us. They marched out the door. So I said, wow, that's weird. And then, then one of my investors looked at the commercial because he went ballistic on me. Yeah, you know, I mean, these people need to get a life. Well, I, I, I just think that uh, it shouldn't matter whether people who would never buy a product from you are offended. If the people in the target demographic are entertained or uh, attracted by a particular ad, you should never worry about the people outside the target demographic. Right. Plus, you know, you, whatever you do, you're going to piss somebody off. That's just the way it is. If now. you do it right. <laughs> exactly. I mean, look but, at this uh, show. We piss people off every day. Yeah. I, and I ended up not airing the commercial because I got so sick of people, uh, you know, dumping on me that I just let it go. But uh, that's the way life is these days. Well, I don't worry about it, Andy. In fact, yeah. I'm, it's just better uh, now for the people who want to be politically incorrect like me. It makes us seem even more daring when we do these outrageous things. Yep. Yeah. Hey, I love your show, bro. Thank you, Andy. All right, see you. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's Matt on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Yeah, how's it going, Tom? I just want to say, you know, what the heck has happened to the First Amendment nowadays? I mean, the First Amendment is supposed to be protective of offensive speech, anything. Is well, it is, legal. but wait, wait, wait. Nothing happened to the First Amendment. I mean, Equinox placed their ad in Boston Magazine. Uh, the ad ran. People are complaining about it. That's their First Amendment right, and Equinox exercised their own First Amendment right by putting the ad in. Sure, and that's fine, and that's how it should be. But it's like, well, I mean, but other places are, I mean, if you try to run something that could be offensive or something, they don't even run it. And, I mean, like, with, with the whole since I missed thing where he said something offensive, well, he's allowed to say that. He shouldn't be getting, like, kicked off the air for that sort of thing. Well, it's, it's not the same thing. Imus, well, was, Imus was employed by a company. Right. Now, I understand that. I understand that whole thing where, like, they lost sponsors, so maybe he should get fired for that. But if the company wants to place an ad, that right. might offend people. The company has every right to do what it did. And and I say they shouldn't worry about whether they're offending people as long as the people they're offending are not the core audience they're trying to reach. Right. It's just, it's just, so there? I, yeah, I don't oh. see, I, I, you know, as far as I'm concerned, uh, religion is, is not sacrosanct. Uh, right, exactly. Because religion is a chosen lifestyle, like being a tennis player or a golf pro. It's something you choose to do. Exactly. And, and so, therefore, it's open to ridicule. It's open to satire. Right, exactly. I think every, But I think everything should be open to satire. I mean, that's kind of, that's your right. And for if anybody was to even say, like, for, for even a second to think, oh, well, maybe we can't print this. Well, everything, by the way, them. everything is open to satire. Uh, if the owner of a newspaper... Or the owner of a radio station wanted to say something like what Don Imus said, uh, they do have the right to say that. Uh, they then are going to suffer the consequences of saying it. If there are consequences, they're going to suffer a loss of business. They're going to suffer protests and picketing. But they have a right to say those things. Yeah, that's a good point, Tom. I mean, well, I, you know, I deal in the First Amendment every day. That's what I do for a living. Yeah, and you know what? Like, like some of the things that you say, I mean, they offend me, but heck, that's your right to say it. I mean, if if it offends me or whatever, I mean, it should just be. I mean, you say what you want, it offends me. I'll say what I want, it offends you. But that doesn't mean that we shouldn't be able to say it just because somebody might be offended. Right. But the thing is, the government doesn't step in and do anything about it, and that's where the First Amendment comes in. Yeah. Uh, but you don't have a right to say anything you want at your job. You just don't. Right. All right, Tom. Well, thanks a lot. Can you uh, take me out old school? Of course I can. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Now, if you're just tuning in, there is an ad appearing in Boston Magazine that depicts Catholic nuns sketching a naked man. It's placed there by Equinox Fitness Club. And now the Catholic League, the Boston Archdiocese, 
By the way, Boston Archdiocese, aren't they bankrupt from all the priest diddling little boys? I think so. And the Catholic Action League of Massachusetts, uh, they've all decried the ad as offensive. And I say, so what? So what if you're offended? So what? You're offended. Big deal. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Nick in Portland, Oregon, home of the other white meat. You're on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Good afternoon, Tom. Yes, sir. Yeah, no, I think that the Catholic people have every right to get offended by that. Well, they have every right to be offended, but the fact that they're offended is none of my concern. I couldn't care less, and, and why should Equinox? Well, that's the thing. I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, they can put that in all they want, but it seems like you're going, you're taking the side of Equinox more yes. than uh, the, the Catholic. Yes, I am. I well, am. I mean, they. I mean, they have a right to believe what they believe, and they, they have, have a right to believe what, what they, they believe. believe. And if the seventy-four-year-old uh, cranks who run these organizations aren't going to go to Equinox uh, to and, do and their and ab crunches, all, I don't think Equinox has any reason to be concerned. Olds, you're saying uh, primarily. Primary. I lived cranks. in Boston, and I have heard these groups, and I have heard what they have to say, and I've seen them on television. Trust so, so me when I tell you, the people, the people who run these, the people who run these groups are a bunch of old cranks. That's what they are. And uh, how do you know that? Well, because I lived in Boston. I lived in Boston for a year, and I was exposed to these people. Yeah, and I was in different places for years, too. So what? I that's mean, not the point. The point is, you know, the people who... Look, even within the Catholic Church, I'm not saying... Like, are you, I'm going to put you on hold for a second. Even within the Catholic Church, even though there may be people 20 years old in the Catholic Church, the people who belong to these organizations that complain about stuff like this are a bunch of old cranks. That is... Dean, you didn't hang up on him, did you? No, I saved him. Where is he? You think he's on line three? Yeah. All right. All right. Anyway, the fact is that the people who run these organizations that protest this stuff are a bunch of old cranks. I know it. I've seen them. Where? On television every time something like this happens. And so those, they're the only ones that represent the Catholic community? Those are the ones that represent these organizations. Old cranks. By the way, New England is the home of old cranks. Okay. You know, I mean, look, I'm not even Catholic. I, I'm Greek Orthodox, but I'd be a little offended by that if I. Was. I'm fine. I don't, you you have every right to be offended, but but why should anybody care if you're offended? Yeah, but why should you attack the Catholic community? For it. Again, you have. First of all, I'm not attacking the entire Catholic community. I'm attacking any group that comes out and complains. They have a well, right. They have a right to complain. complain. Well, they have a right to complain. But by the same token, uh, Equinox has a right to say, "F you." We don't really care if you don't like it. Well, yeah, of course they have the right. And to. and hopefully they will. And apparently yeah, that's yeah, that, they're yeah. saying that in a very nice way. But that's what they're saying. Yeah, and and the Catholic community has the equal right. To come back and say that this is wrong. They can say it all they like, but who cares? Why should anybody care if they're offended? Why should they know? Because if you're a Catholic, you should be uh, offended. uh, Well, first of all, I'm not going to tell people who should be offended and who shouldn't. All I'm saying is, why should anybody care if they're offended? Because, like, why should anyone care if they're offended? Yeah, I, 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 you can't answer that question because you just keep wandering around and, uh, you know, repeating the question. You can't answer that question. I can't answer that question. Answer it now. <laughs> okay, you know, maybe I can't answer that question. Thank you. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Why, why, I'm fine. They have every right to be offended. Who cares if they're offended? Who cares? Richard on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom, how you doing? Doing okay. Yeah, I totally agree, man. And the funniest thing about this is the people that are protesting don't understand that they're only helping out the product and the people selling it. Right. What they're doing is increasing the publicity and exposure and overall the net sales. I will go a step further. You're not, not only are you right, I'll go a step further. It would be my belief that Equinox Fitness Club knew what kind of reaction this ad was going to get and placed the ad because they were hoping for this reaction, which they then got. Yeah, and the principle is that you get more people in return than you lose by offending them, you know? Right. Attract more people to the product. I'm standing here 3,000 miles away talking about the Equinox Fitness Club in Boston. Yeah. How effective was that ad? 
It was effective, very effective for them. Right. Who are protesting it, you know. Uh, yeah. I'm already a member of Equinox, or I'd probably join. Yeah, and uh, Tom, I mean, it's funny because nowadays when you're launching a product, the most effective thing is to do something negative or controversial in order to get that attention for it, you know? I, and, 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 and these old cranks you know, unwittingly end up playing into the hands of the advertisers. Of course. And, and the promoters. And yeah. by the way, our show is a prime example of that. But many, many people complain about our show and talk about how horrible it is. They write articles. They write blogs about how horrible I am and how horrible the show is. And I just laugh. Yeah, because they built your career in essence. You know, they're the ones who are providing all that hate and negativity, which brings people in and creates the interest. You know? Yeah, step it up. We need more of that. Right. Uh not to take us too much time, but I just wanted to elaborate on something that I'm doing, which may be a little controversial, too. But uh, my company recently just had a new product, and it's a knife rack shaped as different people and characters. And the first one that I'm going to be launching is George Bush for Tuesday. During a the, knife uh, rack? Primary. Yeah. Well, if you really want to be controversial, why don't you make one in the shape of Nicole Brown Simpson? No, no, no. I have OJ, Osama Bin Laden, many other characters. But what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing custom ones of people's ex-wives and ex-husbands. Oh, now if you if you had a Nicole Brown Simpson knife rack, that would be your bestseller. Nicole Brown, well, I think OJ would be a bigger hit. You know, more people are disgruntled with OJ right now. Yeah, would, but this would be even more offensive. Do you understand? Because I understand the offense. That was that was the victim. So by launching this product, it's essentially going to get all these other groups and special interest groups to be current conservative right wing. You're hoping they're going to complain. Yeah, well, that's the if I were you, I would send anonymous emails to these organizations and, and let them know about your product. No, and that, that's why I had to call in today because I'm listening to this, and it's so incredible because, you know, essentially that's exactly what I've been planning on doing this whole time is allowing the controversy of the product itself to carry it and expose it to people. And a lot of people aren't going to like it and think it's horrible and stupid that you would do that, but it's actually quite funny. And it's not just an idea of being a controversial product. I actually took it out and I got it licensed by several other companies for different, like, cartoon characters and stuff like that, you know? Wait, were they going to be selling it like, Walmart and stuff? Well, yeah, for, like, uh, Kenny from <laughs> South Park and different stuff like that, and like, uh -huh. different characters where it actually fits. But the foundation of the product's solid, but in order to market and launch it, I'm going to use characters like George Bush, both XYs and stuff like that. Uh-huh. And say so, you know, I'm a big fan of your show and everything you do, and I listen a lot, you know, and exactly this is basically, like, you know, the business plan for what I was planning on doing the whole time, and it's just funny to hear how, you know, the people who are protesting don't even understand what they're doing for the product, you know? Now all you have to do is come up with that John F. Kennedy gun rack. You'll be all set. Tom. 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 Tom, Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. This is my Sunday theory. It's delicious as soon as you get it. Leave it out in the sun for a few hours and see if you still want to eat it, because that's what happens to a hot chick over time, okay? It becomes a big mess, okay? It gets all over you, it's in your hair, it's a mess, it's on your clothes, and you don't know what to do about it anymore, you know? Just throw every bit away, just don't do it. Just break If you have a girlfriend that you feel like you love her so much, dump her. Dump her today. It's the Tom Likas Show. Tom, that's our telephone number. We're talking about an ad. Equinox Fitness Club placed an ad in Boston Magazine in Boston, Massachusetts that depicts nuns in an art class sketching a naked man. And now all these Catholic groups are all upset. They say the ad is offensive. One of these people says it portrays a callous contempt for the sensibility of Catholics. I say, so what? Why should we worry about whether people are offended? Uh, you have every right not to buy the product if you're that offended. But uh, I don't think that you should let that uh, scare you into not doing advertising like that. As far as I'm concerned, religion is a chosen lifestyle. And that means it's open to ridicule. It's open to uh, satire. And if you do something people find contemptible, tough. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Craig on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. First-time caller here. Yes, sir. 
Uh, first, a quick one on Mitt. Uh, how can you tell when Mitt Romney's lying? His lips are moving. Well, that's an old joke, sir. Yeah, it's a lawyer joke. I just thought Mitt said it better. Anyways, the reason I'm calling is that I wanted to get your thoughts on the phenomenal hypocrisy surrounding the advertising of liquor and cigarettes. Uh, my thoughts on that are that, yeah, you can't see it in a magazine or a newspaper or maybe even a billboard, but NASCAR, all the major leagues, just about everything is going to have a beer sponsor on it somewhere. And I, I, I'd just like to hear your thoughts on that. Well, you not only have a beer or cigarette sponsor, uh, but uh, those ads can be seen on television, even though the, the cigarette advertising... Uh, is illegal on television, and hard liquor advertising has limits uh, uh, placed by the broadcasters themselves as to what time those ads will appear. Okay. So um, the advertising at uh, not just NASCAR, but all kinds of sporting events, um, <laughs> it appears on television anyway. And a lot of these events, uh, put them all together, you know, are directed towards drawing a youthful audience. You know, exciting stuff like NASCAR or football or or whatever. And if the whole point about and and you know we'll leave the liquor aside. The whole point about cigarettes is you know keeping away from kids and youth so they don't make a bad decision. These same kids and youth are going, attending all these events, you know, like X Games, whatever. Well, now I'm not going to agree with you on this. I'm a libertarian when it comes to this. Uh, it's my belief that if a product is legally available, that you should be able to freely advertise it. Well, that's I'm, well, that's 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 my point. Um, that's pretty hypocritical. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? What's hypocritical? Well, it's just the, the easy access to advertising for cigarettes via sporting events and other things versus the fact that uh, you can't. Well, I, I think cigarette companies shouldn't have to uh, just buy NASCAR to get on television. I think they should be able to advertise on television like they did uh, 37 years ago. Why do you think that? What happened 37 years ago? Uh, the, there was a law made that said you couldn't advertise cigarettes on TV anymore or radio. That was like, you know, a federal law? Yes. Man. Well, that's terrible. You well, didn't know that? No, no, actually, I didn't know that. Well, if you ever travel to other countries in, say, uh, like Mexico or in Europe, uh, you will still see cigarette advertising on TV. Oh, yeah, that that figures. Uh, anyways, Tom, I don't want to take up much more of your time. I do want to say thanks. Um, I haven't listened to your show much, but the one thing that you do that nobody else ever did is you play great hard rock music when people are on hold. And everybody else does commercials, and so that's the most incredible thing I've ever heard, practically. Well, look at that. It's an incentive to call in more often. You never know what Absolutely. we're going to play next. Absolutely. Call that's right. in and listen to good rock music. Right. Hey, Tom. Thank hey, Tom, you. Can, you. can you take me out with a double bong hit? It's been a long day. A double bong hit. Yes, sir. It's long day. Long day. Okay. Let's see what we got here. No cough. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. Here's Chris on the Tom Likas show. Hello. What's up, Tom? How's it going? Going okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, but I don't think the Catholics should be uh, really too uh, concerned about their image anymore, man. With all those little altar boys getting molested. Hey, watch your mouth. We're on the air. Yeah, sorry about that. Yes, yes, I, uh, I, I do believe that this stuff rings kind of hollow. I mean, uh, what is more offensive than altar boys being diddled by priests and then cardinals, instead of calling nine one one, transferring the priest to other parishes where the, these <laughs> the boys get molested at the new parish? Uh, how could this be more offensive than that? I know, honestly, man. I mean, uh, these guys are just hypocrites. The Boston Archdiocese is one of the organizations complaining about this ad. Uh, aren't they currently bankrupt from defending uh, themselves against these charges? Uh, I don't know too much about that. But no, I, mean, I, I believe that's the case. Oh, okay. Anyway, thank you, Chris. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's Matt on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Going Okay. Yeah, it's just, uh, I want to say I want to say a couple things, but uh, I don't understand how they could even take offense to this. 
Tell us why. What? Tell us why. No, I'm asking you, how can they? How can the men or the Catholics take offense to the picture? Why, like, how could they possibly take offense to it? Uh, Well, I agree with that. How can they possibly take offense to it? You're right. And another thing I want to ask about the uh, the whole of the news. Well, the fact is, they look, they have every right to take offense if they want to. But the thing is, why should we care if they do? Yep. But uh, I want to say, is this what, the, what they pretty much do with the Golf Weekly thing? You think the guy had in his head that it's going to be like just a whole bunch of publicity for him to put on the news? You think that's what he's thinking, kind of? Well, I, I, I think that was the plan to begin with. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Equinox Fitness Clubs have, uh, you know, there's clubs in L.A., there's clubs in New York. Why did they pick Boston to do this? And I think I know the answer, because in Boston you have these Catholic activist groups that are going to complain and try to get certain ads banned and movies banned and books banned. Yeah. I, I think that was the laugh. game plan, and it was brilliant. I would just laugh at it. I want to know, uh, what's your opinion on Mexicans? What do you mean, what's my opinion on Mexicans? What's your thought about them, having all these kids and stuff? Uh, I'm not a racist, Matt, like you. And uh, if you think that was uh, intelligent to call in and say that and hang up, well, you go right ahead, but you're never going to get me to say that. Never, ever. You're a complete moron. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Lucio on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom, how are you doing? Doing great. First of all, I need to comment on you, man. You're doing a great job out here. I'm not from the L.A. Valley, but um, I live up north in Fresno. But every time I come down here, I listen to your show, and what you say is pretty much gold, man. Thank you. Um, well, I just wanted to comment on this um, Catholic uh, thing that that's going on. First of all, man, I'm Catholic, but when I heard this, this thing made me laugh. You know, I take no offense to things like this. That's funny, and I mean, I'm not really 100% Catholic. I'm kind of almost done with that. It was something my parents tried to inflict on me when I was younger, and after yeah. seeing all these things that happened and going on, you kind of think about what religion is really all about. And I mean, but I don't understand why this um, Catholic, oh, why these Catholic people are getting all offended. It's just Another advertisement. I mean, it's funny. It made me laugh. If I seen that and I live down here in L.A., I'd probably join their gym. Because it's just, you know, it's a good advertisement that I've seen. Well, not only that, um, uh, the fact that they're upset about it, if, if they hate it, I'm in. I'm signing up. There you go. You know, if um, like I said, I don't live down here. But if I did, I'd probably go and sign up on that gym because they just, you know, it, it catches your attention. That's what it's all about now. You know, things that catch your attention and make you laugh. That That made me laugh when yep. I heard it. I didn't. I didn't take no offense to it or nothing. Yeah. I mean, like I said, I'm not really even Catholic anymore. But I was. I was raised that way, and like now it's just kind of like, well, whatever, you know, just something else people kind of make up. That's uh, in my, that's my opinion of it. Uh, religion is just uh, a, a, a series of fairy tales, like Aesop's fables, or you know, nursery rhymes. Yeah. That's what it's all about. Yeah, that's, that was my only comment, man. You're doing a great job, and I'm, I'm hoping we can hear you up, up north a little bit one day. I, I never heard you where, on... Um, where do you live, Lucio? I live in Fresno, California. Oh, in Fresno, yeah. Yeah. We were on in Fresno for about three months. We did very well, and then the station changed format. Yeah, how about this? This is not a question. Are you guys on Sirius Satellite Radio or anything like that? No, we're not on Satellite. No, you need a radio or a computer. You can hear us online. Okay, you're online. Okay. I'm yeah, we got podcasts. I mean, you you can hear us one way or another. All right, that's all he wanted. He decided he'd had enough. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. Nick on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? Doing great. Uh, be honest here. It's probably like my second time listening to you, but I'm loving it. Thank you. I had a question for you. Yeah. About this topic. Yeah. With the Catholics. You know, everyone who's uh, offended right now, would they be offended if it was a figure from a different religion? Probably not. Well, that makes me wonder. Oh, yeah. I mean, if you're, if you're going to be offended that it's someone from your religion, you should be offended in general, no matter who it is. Yeah. But like if the naked man was Muhammad, would the Catholics complain? Probably not. Yeah, exactly. There, there you go. Or Buddha. That's right. All right. That's all I wanted to add to this. All right. Good points, Nick. Appreciate the call. Thanks very much. The Tom Likas Show.